Hello everybody, today we're going to make uh, bison hot dogs and elk burgers using Beck and Bulow's bison hot dogs and elk ground uh, also from Beck and Bulow. Um, what's nice about the bison hot dogs is they already come pre-packaged in hot dog form uh, so it's ready to go right on the grill but the elk burgers are going to take a little bit of preparation. We're going to have to uh, add some sauces and seasonings to the elk meat to get it ready for the grill and we'll come back here in just a couple of minutes and have it all ready to go and we'll show you how it grills up and what it tastes like in just a minute. All right, so we've got the bison hot dogs out of their packaging. We've already mixed up the elk burgers with some burger seasoning, a little Worcestershire sauce and some sea salt and pepper. And we're gonna throw these on the grill here in just a second, but this is what it looks like out of the packaging and ready to go. So in a few minutes, we'll have this on the grill and we'll be grilling them up. So we got our bison hot dogs on the upper rack. We're gonna move them down to the lower rack when the elk burgers get done. Uh, we're basically cooking them on high heat with the electric grill here. The reason we're using electric and not charcoal is because we live in an apartment complex and they have rules about, you know, charcoal grills on balconies and stuff like that. As you can see, we're pretty close to the house and all that. So for us, we have to use an electric grill, but the reason it's not smoking a whole lot is because the elk is a very lean cut of meat. This elk is 100% all natural, grass fed, no antibiotics, no hormones, no fillers. It's basically wild elk that's been treated very, very well. And it's, and it's one of the best uh, forms of wild elk that you, you can get uh, from a company. We use Beck and Bulo, um, Beck and Bulo ground elk for this. And then these are the Beck and Bulo bison sausages and we'll have those up in just a minute. So we're almost done with the uh, burgers here. I've got some cheddar cheese on this one and then I've got some provolone cheese on the other one. We've moved the bison hot dogs down to the main grilling space and we're gonna shut the lid here and let it do its thing. All right, so this is how the elk burgers turned out. We got the cheese all melted now. We're about to pull these off. I'm going to let the hot dogs cook just a little bit more. And then we'll be ready for round two. And just like that, dinner is served. We've got a little elk burger with provolone cheese over here. We've got two bison hot dogs. And then we've got some macaroni salad over here. And I had a little taste of the elk burger. And honestly, it was one of the leanest meats I've ever tasted in my life. That didn't mean necessarily that it wasn't juicy and full of flavor, it really was. But I was just really surprised at how little fat content it had. As we saw from some of the earlier videos when we were grilling it up, it wasn't really making the grill smoke because it wasn't really leaking a whole lot of juice. But that doesn't mean that these can't be thick, satisfying, you know, really tasty burgers. And, um, you know, I think it's really good. You know, bison is also pretty lean too. Like these bison hot dogs, when we were cooking them up, didn't smoke all that much. They smoked a little bit, but overall, they were a lot more lean than traditional beef hot dogs. And so I'm excited to see what those taste like here in a second. So I just took a bite of the bison hot dog here. And I have to say it tasted even better than like a ballpark Frank or like something you would get at a baseball stadium. It was really nice. It had a nice, robust flavor to it, but it didn't taste like gamey or weird. The hot dog itself tasted really juicy. It was really, you know, nice. Came right off the grill. As you can see, we've got a lot of really good, um, you know, charring to the meat. Uh, overall, it went really, really well. And this is definitely a repeat recipe for sure. So... Um, thanks for cooking with me. I'll see you in the next one.